sorry for the screaming children in the background. My patio door is open. Okay, so this is a part two of uploading, I guess making, of taking an image from scan to finished product in a shop ready to sell. <laughs> So if I was gonna sell a print of this on Redbubble or Etsy, I obviously would need to add a background to it. So that is what I'm going to do now. And I'm gonna show you how I add backgrounds to my images. Now we just finished this. So this is the PNG image and this is the one that we wanna use when we add a background to it. Now to do this, I did have to download a program, but it is a completely free program to download. And in order to figure out which program I wanted to download, I basically just went on YouTube and I searched top free um, art whatever programs to download and I saw Jazz's list and I went with the one that I thought was the best from his list and that happened to be Krita which I'm going to open right now actually I should close paint 3d you know what? we'll leave it open just for now just in case we need later <laughs> who knows okay Krita finally decided to open <laughs> So if you're like me and you don't use any digital art whatsoever, then you might be a little bit lost on a program like this because I was completely lost. I mean, I like finagled around until I figured out how to do what I wanted to do. I don't do much on here. Mostly I just add um, either a colored background to my image or a plain white background, like a stark white background to my image. And that's kind of about it. So to add a background to this, you just want to go up to the top left corner and I'm going to be very precise in my description just because I know I would want someone to do that for me if I was going to be using a program like this. So top right corner, I'm going to hit open. We are going to, oh, that's my nephew's little channel that I um, helped him do some stuff with. Uh, so we are going to go to red bubble for me. And then we're just going to open up the edited um, version of this image. The one that we were working with before. Okay, so once it's open, the next thing I want to do is I want to add a second layer to this. So right now we're on layer one, which is the image. I'm just going to hit the plus sign right here, which is gonna give me another layer. And that gives me layer two, as you can see, which is now above layer one. I'm just gonna scroll out a little bit so I can see the size of my image. And what I want to do is I want to make my, not my image, but I want to make my background bigger than what it is right now. Because if you look at the actual drawing, her hair is not at the top of the drawing. You know, she's a little bit further down the page, which you can see right here. You see how much further down from the page she is. So I'm going to try to emulate that, but using this program. So what you want to do is we're, in, we're clicked on layer two. So if you're on layer one, layer one will be highlighted in blue. You want to make sure you're on layer two. So the layer two is highlighted in blue. We're going to go up over to image and then we're going to go to resize canvas. So right now my canvas is 5,400 by 6,200 pixels. Well, 5,400 wide by 6,200 pixels high. And I think the width actually needs to be a little bit shorter. No, I, I can always, she's moved over a little bit in my picture. I'm just, I'm looking at my image in life and on the screen and I'm trying to figure out what I should do. So for height, we definitely need to make it higher. higher. So I think I'm going to go for 8,000 pixels high. And then for width, I'm going to leave it at 50. Now, you know, what? I'm going to go to, I'm going to leave it at, I'm going to leave it at that width. We'll just see what it looks like. We can always change it. So I'm going to hit okay. And then this is now the size of my canvas. So now in order to just position this so that I can see if this is the way I really want it, I'm going to go back to layer one. Then I'm gonna head over right here to this like little cross thing, the move tool. I'm gonna hit the move tool. Then I'm just gonna move my image until I feel like it's in the place it needs to be. So in my drawing, in my original drawing, she would look something like that. And I don't know if this is, this might be a little bit too high for what it looks like. So I'm just gonna resize it again. And that actually feels a lot more true to what the real picture looks like to me. So now it's time to add a background. To add a background, we're going to go back to layer two. I'm gonna go to my brush tool over here. And now I just want a plain white background. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here to my color wheel. And I'm just gonna drag this to the corner, the very tip of this, so that way it gives me the whitest white that I can get. So now my color is like extremely white. 
Um, if I go back onto the canvas, you can see my brush is a little small. So I'm just gonna make my brush probably as big as it can get because I just wanna fill this in really quickly. And what you wanna make sure that you're on, you do not wanna draw on layer one. So if you're on layer one and you put a line across this, you're literally gonna be drawing on your picture. So I'm just gonna undo that. Then you wanna make sure you're in layer two when you're drawing. And I'm just going to draw and fill in the entire background. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Okay, so that's my mistake. Good thing that happened because now I can tell you not to do that. Okay, so I actually don't have to undo this, but I didn't realize that layer one was underneath layer two. Like literally it's underneath it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select layer one and then we're just gonna hit this up arrow and we're gonna put it in front of layer two. Now we can go back to layer two and we can continue to draw on layer two and just make sure that the background is nice and white for printmaking, either on Redbubble or DeviantArt, whatever website you're gonna upload it on. I just wanna make sure that my background is as white as it can be because I don't wanna waste no ink, okay? All right, so now that I have my background image on, I'm going to save this file. So I'm gonna go to File, Save As. I'm gonna save this as a print image. And then you wanna make sure you go back to, I mean, at least for me, this is what I do. Cause uh, I mean, I'm not the greatest. I don't really understand what all these things are, but I always save it back as a JPEG. <laughs> so I'm gonna save this image. I'm just gonna click okay. And then I'm gonna save this whole thing. And now I have a proper background on this. It is situated where it is supposed to be. And I feel like this is a very nice image to have as in print. Now let's say that you wanted to, you know, go a little wild. And what if I wanted to just put a colored background on this, which I sometimes do for my red bubble prints. I don't do them for the ones I print myself because you know, that's a lot of ink. But for my red bubble prints, I will sometimes go back and put just a background on it. So if I wanted to do a background on this, I could easily just put another color in there and it's just simple and one, two, three, you don't have to worry about painting it all yourself. And there you go. Actually, that looks really cute, that color. So I'm definitely gonna save that. You can see my two images. Well, four really. I have the original, which has like a yellowish tinge to the background and the um, color is off a little bit. And then I have my PNG image. So this is, has a transparent background on it. And then this is the one that I would sell as prints. And then I would also sell this one as a print. And that is all of my images lined up together. <laughs> Once again, if you're interested in buying this print or any of these other prints in here, so you can see a couple of them I put color backgrounds on. Uh, these will all be on my Etsy shop, which is thatanxiousartist.etsy.com. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, bah. hope this helped you out. I hope this helps someone out because it took me a very, very long time how to figure out how to do this. So hopefully this is a nice, simple process for people who are trying to figure out how to put a background on their images for free and easy. I said easy already, didn't I? Either way, 